Hello, I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. Some of the public sector buses staged a two-day protest earlier this week by withholding their services over what they say is the government's tardiness in addressing their concerns. The minibus operators say the COVID-19 protocols, which have restricted the number of passengers they may transport at any one time, have made it difficult for them to meet their commitments. The minibus operators resumed operations on Wednesday on the understanding that their concerns will be addressed by January 2021. One of the solutions under consideration is to allow the minibuses to transport their full complement of passengers. This idea is opposed by those who fear that it would increase the risk of contracting COVID-19 in the buses. So we ask, would you support the decision to allow the minibuses to transport their full complement of passengers? We tally the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 48% said yes, 46% said no, 3% did not know, and 3% had no comment. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Well, um, I, think, I think they should because especially with the, with the expenses they're going for gas and everything and look you have the, the air buses carrying the full amount of passengers and they are the ones bringing, the, most of them bringing, the, uh, the foreigners bringing the sickness in the island. And we ourselves don't really have that situation where it's inborn inside of us, but it's carriers that bring it to us. So we ourselves in our island, we should be able to be making our money the same way. Look, the teacher's not even working, people don't even have a job, and the bus drivers have people to take care of, the family and whatsoever. So I think, well, they have the right to carry the full amount of passengers, especially of the cost of gas again. Yes, I would allow them as long as they follow the protocol because everybody needs to make money. Look, the country is open for everybody else to make money, so why not the minibuses? As long as they follow the protocol, I, to me it's okay. I will support that the government allow the minibuses, the minibus drivers and the minibuses to carry the full complement. But there is something to be there. Everybody on board must wear a mask. You have to be, you have to follow protocol. Follow protocol, man. We must mass up, man, to avoid the spreading of this um, 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 virus now. I do not support them. Because the word of God says in Romans chapter 13, let every soul be subject to the governing authority. Right? Because it's the governing authority, it's God that ordained them. So they have to obey the governing authority. The governing authority it is God who put them there. Yes, I think it's capable, um, they're actually capable of carrying the full occupancy on the minibus because when the island was open for um, foreigners to actually come in, I'm positive that the airlines used to hold full capacity. They wouldn't take like half, half um, a plane load of people just to make one trip to St. Lucia. So once ever, um, we follow the protocols and we adhere by the measures we're supposed to take. They are capable of taking their full capacity because they need to make the money. Yes, they should allow them to carry the full amount of passengers because they have loans to pay and they have their families to feed and other responsibilities. So why not give them the chance to do it? I, I believe all in all they can, they can have them, them carrying the full load. With that comes the protocol, you know? Full protocol, if you have a mask that is not, you know, recommended, at least have two. You understand? Sanitize and do what you have to do. And everybody can, 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 can make some money because the, the bus drivers need to make money too. They have loans to pay, they have the buses to pay. You understand? So I, be, I believe, yes, it can be done. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The government of St. Lucia is considering a number of measures to address the concerns of minibus operators, some of whom resorted to protest action on the 7th and 8th of December. So we ask, should the government waive the $1.50 tax charged per gallon of fuel for minibus drivers? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsenusha.org or Facebook at HTSNusha Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp 
to 584-4HTS. That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, there's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your EPOL response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes to 4 no, 3 no comment and 4 I don't know. Join the discussion from your Flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.